Nick, I mean, from, from this one guy who's got a lot, his work cut out, Tapper Henning, going forward in this competition. Yeah. We've had a great product. Perfect. Fans are back. The rugby's been good. The one thing's been lacking. And Tapper's got lots of work between he, now he and the season. He now. definitely does. He definitely does. I know that uh, World Rugby were concerned that there weren't any quality referees mm. from Scotland. And they were part of the World Rugby sort of elite top eight teams in the world. And they weren't getting any, any um, referees into the big games, into the Six Nations games, internationals. I know that they're wanting to push, obviously, Italy as well. And, um, you know, I, I, I uh, spoke about this a while back where I said... When you get to semi-finals, it's all well and good. You get a game uh, in, uh, as a league game, blood the guys, give them an opportunity. Even when you, when you get a poor result because of an incompetent referee in a league game, it's damaging to the team that's been affected. But at international, or getting to semi-finals of international competitions, you've got to get your best referees there, your very best mm. referees. And don't tell me that the two referees in the semi-final were the very best referees in the URC. They certainly weren't. They were a, an Italian referee who did a reasonable job for the Bulls and, uh, and a Scottish referee, Adamson, who did a very poor job for both Ulster and, and the Stormers. And it's disappointing from the, storm, from the uh, viewer's point of view. I got so many messages from rugby supporters yesterday just saying, is it just me or is, does this guy not know what he's doing? And he really, really confused the players. You had both captains shouting at him the whole time. It was, a, it was not a good... Um, performance, mm. uh, refereeing performance, just, yep. and the teams had to battle despite, you know, because, because of him, they battled to get any rhythm and, and uh, any top quality rugby into the game. John, 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 the last one here. If you look at the ecosystem of rugby, players can change nations, uh, coaches can coach mm. foreign nations. Do you think it's time that maybe referee associations start looking for the best upcoming referees and give them citizenship? If you say Italy yeah. hasn't got quality refs, you, you look of uh, Scotland as well. We've got some youngsters coming through here. We haven't seen Rasta. Maybe he should change. I mean, yeah. is, is that a way forward? That's, that that, that, that could, cost, could possibly be an answer. Uh, you know, the question is where. You know, I think, again, if, if we, we all we will be in consensus that a lot of our refs will then be poached, you know, to, to go ref, uh, you know, wherever. Um, and, I, and, again, you know, if we look at, at the two referees, Scotland and, 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 and the Italian, it's just not, we don't, we're not seeing the next guy coming through. So, so if that was the best, you know, I, I, I hate to see who the second and the third guy in line is going to be.